to bed around 12.30, woke up at 8.20, that's not enough sleep. But then I checked my phone, and then when that happens, it's all over. And also, they were testing the fire alarms, there was lots of noise, and then a security guard woman came right into my bedroom, because I couldn't hear that she was coming in. Because there's a PA speaker on the wall of my bedroom, and for some reason that was on, so I could hear them in their office testing fire alarms, going, yeah, that one's good, that one's good. And then I hear this other voice, and I'm like, is that in my... Is that in my actual apartment? So I'm yelling, hello, hello, and then I was naked because I sleep nude. And I went to get my bathrobe in my bathroom, which is in my bedroom, and then I'm putting it on, and this woman comes in, and I'm like, hello? She's like, sorry, we knocked three times. I'm like, what? And then she looks up, and there's like a piece of paper I've taped over the speaker that the fire alarm comes through because it's so loud it actually hurts my ears, and the piece of paper doesn't do anything, but it's too high for me to just get it off now. And she's like, oh, you you, you did, you taped it? And I'm like, yeah, I know. And she's like, well, it's not allowed. And then this woman uh, messaged me a while ago on LinkedIn saying she runs a dating service called The Love Listeners, and uh, I replied back, well, maybe I could interview you or something. And she said, well, I'm free Tuesday morning, and then she messaged me, uh, saying, okay. She messaged me at like 10 o'clock and I was like, oh right, I forgot I told her I'd try to get to her before I went to the copywriting meeting, which was at 10.30 today, but I wasn't going to that anyway, so I'm glad she reminded me by sending me a little message. So then I just called her and she gave me her whole spiel for like five minutes about how they check uh, the dating sites for you and then they give you only the best options and they wa- they, they're, they're with you, they walk you through it, they talk to you after your dates and you can say, oh, you know, I'm feeling bad about this or what should I wear? And then I was like, okay, you know what? I'm not really interested in dating right now. Um, I, I enjoy networking, like, with the Shaper app and stuff. And anyways, I can help you promote the business. And she's like, ah, well, anyway, sign up because you can have, like, a free profile on the site. And if they find someone, they'll they'll recommend them to me. So, And then she texted me thanks. And then I said, oh, and here's a couple of cartoons I did for Dashing Date. She's like, oh, I like your cartoons. And she said, I'm such an interesting guy. She wants me on the site because I shouldn't be single. And... Uh, and she's like, how old are you when we were on the phone? And I told her, and she's like, oh, that's the perfect age to, like, fall in love and be with someone. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I think the perfect age was, like, 25 years ago. But but anyways, you know, what's she going to say? Like, what age is not the perfect age, right? Anyways, I don't know. Oh, and by the way, I guess my cold is now clearing out of my head, because listen to this. That's, like, pretty good breathing, eh? And this is my good nostril. That's, like, awesome. And then this is the bad nostril. That's about as good as it's ever going to get, I guess. Okay, so job one today is I'm going to get on the phone with Apple and ask them for sure, how do I move my iMovie projects off onto a hard drive so that I can make space on my computer? Okay, here we go. Oh, but before I do that, I want to tell you about this thought I had. I've been watching, like, Seinfeld stand-up clips, and I've been watching my friend Monica on Facebook saying how she's writing stand-up jokes, and it gave me a thought. But I also watched this video. I just signed up for Patreon, like I told you yesterday. And the, the CEO of Patreon made a little video. He made a little video on the site that's like introducing the site. And it's literally just him like walking through a hallway going, Hey, you should sign up for Patreon. It's the best time to be creative ever in the history of time. And I'm thinking like he's got this big site. And that's all he did. He didn't sit down and light it and edit it. He's just like, yeah, sign up for my website. And that's all. So now that's just all I'm going to do. Because like, why not? And I really want to boil down my comedy to just simple. Like stand-up is just you and a mic. And you can get famous and entertain people that way. So why do I need to sit down and light it and put little pictures in the corner? Because that's what's keeping me from doing like my celebrity videos. I'm always like, all right, I got to sit down. I got to source pictures. I got to edit it. Nah, it should just be me talking to my phone or maybe with my microphone. So I'm going to keep everything simple. It's just me and a mic, me and a guitar, or me and a pencil and a piece of paper. And I was even going to do like a trailer... Uh, what do you call trailer reaction or, or breakdown for the Justice League and then for Star Wars. And I was like, all right, I, I got to figure out how to show the screen so they can see the trailer and me in the screen. And I messaged Brigetti, who's like the BeLive TV expert, and she got back. She's like, oh, I don't know. I don't think BeLive. Well, there maybe is a way. But why should I do that? I just watched this video from Jenny Nicholson, and she does a trailer reaction. She just sits on her bed and talks about the trailer. You don't see anything. It's boom. And I watched her whole thing for nine minutes because she's funny. It's just like how you're going to watch me for like nine minutes because you think I'm funny. Like I can just say anything. Like what I'm saying now. Like this isn't interesting, but you're watching it. I'm, I, I think I'm insulting you now. Sorry. But maybe this video is like Gary Vaynerchuk, also known as Gary V, V-E-E. -E. He just makes little videos. Sorry for it. It keeps exposing for my white face and then the outside. Sorry, not white. Pale? What's, what's not racist to say? Can I be racist against my... Can I be racist against myself? Is it racist to say the word white now? Is my apartment being white? Is this, like, racist? 
Anyway, um, what was I saying? Yeah, Gary just makes these little random videos going, you can do it, be creative, do it. And he's not like a doctor of creativity or inspiration. He's just this guy who's like, you know what? Uh, stop saying you can't do things. Stop saying no. Start saying yes. Don't worry about lighting. Just make videos. Well, I can do that. I'm doing it. Anyways, sorry. I ate a banana. Maybe that gave me energy. Um, what was I talking about? Anyways, all right. I'm going to go back and call Apple, and then w we'll talk in a bit. Oh, and wait, just before, ah, oh my god, oh, I'm gonna break my Ikea desk, what just happened there? Oh my god, my light fell, ah, okay, hold on. Two girls messaged me yesterday, uh, asking if I can help them become, uh, one wants to be a model, and one wants to get into acting and modeling, and I'm thinking, okay, I need to start a modeling and talent agency, so I started thinking, well, what's the name of my agency? And I want to have a name, like, like Virgin, like Richard Branson came up with Virgin, now he's got Virgin Airlines, and Virgin Records, and... Virgin Radio, so it'd be cool, like, and then there's Trump with Trump Towers and Trump, I don't know, other stuff, Stakes, Trump Stakes, and Rackless is not a good name, cause it's hard to spell, and it doesn't mean anything, and hard to pronounce, um, so I need a good name, like a good little word that I can have, like, you know, like Apple, like, okay, say my uh, thing is uh, Barry, so Barry Models, and uh, the Barry Podcast, and whatever, like, like as in Strawberry, not like the guy Barry. But it's not Barry, because that's not that great. Although I have, I have cousins that their last name is Cherry, and that's such a cool name. I wish my last name was Cherry. You know, if you can think of a good name for me, it'd be cool, like, you know, if my name were Sting, like Sting the rock star, and then it could be like Sting Models, and just call me Sting, or like Snoop Dogg, or something. I don't know. So think of a name that works for everything, and let me know. Thanks. All right, this is great. I was on the phone with Bryce from Apple, and he showed me how to take all these old iMovie I don't need events and find the footage and then move them onto an external hard drive so they're not cluttering up my computer and my iMovie. So this will definitely help me declutter my computer. I'll be able to find things properly and be able to edit them and get stuff on YouTube. And some of this is just like this is just like footage from a broken camera that I was trying to get fixed. All right, this is now in 2008. So I moved that little clip onto the external hard drive and now it can't be found here so I can delete the event watch this it's like popping bubble wrap so satisfying boom oh that felt good oh my god watch this actually i should clean this screen Ugh, gross uh all right i'll do that okay so this is like a message from 2008 me to present 2017 me testing audio and as you can see i'm here with a girl so, girl check that out your heart out. Uh... That didn't fit. The key is what I say after eat your heart out. Watch this. Eat your heart out, uh, me, who's going to be watching this later. <laughs> yeah, future me, nine years later. Who's that girl? Okay, this woman, Janet, just messaged asking if I'm in bed, and I'm like, oh, well, it's almost, actually, it is 10.02 now, uh, so I should go to bed. I'll just tell you what I've been up to. Um... I was on the phone to the bank. There's siren in the background, but I'm not gonna take a break and wait for it to go because there's always a siren in the background. It's like I'm living in a cool urban city like New York, except I'm not in New York. I'm in Toronto. Um, what was I? Oh yeah, so I was getting the interest for my taxes. Like, I don't even know if it's gonna be useful, but just asking them how much interest I paid on my credit card bills and stuff. And then while I was on the phone, I got a call from. I didn't know who it was, but I called them back. Or no, I checked the voicemail transcription, and it was from this woman saying, hey, we're calling about the radio job you applied for, and I was all excited. And then I Googled, and I saw, okay, it's that job that says the radio station's about the African diaspora. They're all about African culture. And I had applied anyways, even though, um, spoiler alert, I'm not African. Um... And I called her back, and it turns out it's a station, it's like this web station where they charge you to host a show. It would cost $180 a week for me to host a show, and they'd give me like a producer. So I asked her, why would I pay you to host a show instead of just doing a podcast? Like, it was a serious question. She's like, well, you know, a lot of people don't have the ability to host a show, like the equipment, and we give you a producer. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'll think about it, but... Yeah, I can't do that. And then I've been using my accounting software to categorize my credit card expenses, and it's like a nice journey through my life. You can see that I often eat at Fat Bastard Burrito, which is very appropriate. 
<laughs> well, I won't even tell you why, but you, you can guess why was the rest of that sentence. But actually, that was 2016, and this year I've started just getting groceries. And so sometimes on my Mint uh, financial site it says, you've spent no money this week. Is that a mistake? Well, no, it's not a mistake. I've stopped eating out. So I should go to bed now. But yeah, it's been a good day of sort of decluttering my computer a bit, organizing my iMovie stuff, making headway on my taxes, and deciding that I'm just going to do comedy like with a mic and just stand up. Real simple. All right. Oh, and one more thing. I haven't uploaded yesterday's Instagram story to YouTube and Facebook yet. I wanted to check to see if like the sound was misaligned. And it does look like it's slightly off. But I think I might just upload it as is. It takes a while to put in an iMovie and move the because it's not just like moving the sound a bit. It seems to mess up in a number of places, and then I, so I, I have to keep making cuts. I don't think it's worth the time. I think I just need to upload it. And it's more about the sound anyways. You can sort of see my face a bit, but just listen to my words. It's kind of like I'm doing like a mini podcast, a podcast, podcast in 15 second increments in this Instagram story. You don't really need the visuals. In fact, it's better if you close your eyes and imagine me looking like better. Oh, and one more thing. I was watching a video by Marie Forleo, and she was interviewing this girl, uh, Francesca something. And uh, Francesca does like all sorts of things, acting and comedy and music and drawing or whatever. And Marie was talking about how she's a multi-passionate entrepreneur. And, and uh, a lot of people told Francesca you should just focus on one thing. And she was like, no, I want to do it all. And Marie was like, yeah, do it all. And maybe you'll create something new out of it all. So, like, maybe you'll create something completely unique, like combining fashion and fitness or whatever. Uh, and, and that's your unique brand, your combination of different things. So it's okay for me to do my comedy and, and my, my music and my drawing and my talking to my phone like this.